want to send a little video in about my JCS MKX grenade launcher. Shoots those little Nerf footballs out like that one right there. Um, shoots them at approximately 120 miles per hour, depending on how you set up the velocity. The easiest way to load it is to actually shove these inside the in here backwards like this. And then you can push them down finger deep as deep as you can. Or you could also load it. They have this little push pin right here. You can push the pin in and this whole piece slides and you can back load it. That just seems to take too long, especially when you're in a hurry and you keep on trying to reload it. So I just prefer just shoving them in backwards and pushing them right through there. So it works just as well. And when it comes to shooting these things, you have a little safety pin just like on a regular gun right here. Turn that off and you just aim it in any direction that you want to shoot it at. Like if I want to shoot that wall right there, just aim it in that direction, pull the trigger. And that's basically it. Most of the time you'll be shooting at tanks with this or barricades. They're not much bigger than the car. You can have an accuracy within like 50 yards. You can, if you're good, you can hit something maybe at 100 yards. Um, my velocity is turned down to probably 60 miles per hour right now. Um, you can turn it up to up to 120 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Um, if you get hit with it, you're going to know you got hit with something. You can hit, you don't want to hit people with it. You try not to, but sometimes they are casualties. You turn up the velocity with that little turn style right there. You just turn it up and it'll crank up the pressure just like you would on a normal paintball gun. And you can see like shooting at the car. You can take pieces of rubber tubing like this, latex tubing, and you can pressurize it with like sidewalk paint or anything of that nature, whatever you like, and pressurize it on one of those tubes. Put a special adapter on it like I have here, and um, just fill it up as much as you can, make it nice and fat. And then you can also take regular water balloons, fill them up with the same concoction, make sleeves like this, and then you can just slide the sleeve down into, down into the grenade launcher like so. Push it down there, finger deep, and when you shoot it out, that thing it will fly out pretty far. And um, you can shoot enemies with grenades. You can probably fill paintballs in there, pack it with um, you know tissue paper or something. Also, what I do whenever I make these little grenades, is I use a piece of regular PVC piping and just slice off little sections of it, like I'll show in just a minute. And you use those as like a little trigger. You fold this over, slide that little piece over it, and then you'd be able to throw these at somebody and when it hits the thing will pop off and it'll squirt them really good. Just going to show some of the grenades that I make. You can actually shoot out of the launcher or you can just throw them. I probably make a couple hundred of these each time I play. I normally use a type of sidewalk paint or like a culinary paint, something that's blue normally I like, but um, you can mix it with corn starch, make it thicker, and I normally fill up one of these jugs with it. And um, it's just a regular pump sprayer, so you just pump it. And then you just got, I just put my little adapter on there and I got tubing that fits exactly for this. So it'll fit right on there without a problem. So you can mass produce these things. And then you got your little O-ring that I make. And all you do is you squeeze it. It fills these things up rather quickly. So you can, you can make tons of these. And then you just pull it off. And then with the, when it comes to the cotter pin, you just fold it over, push this piece on. And then you can put a cotter pin on there, slide the cotter pin through the hole in order to keep it secure. And then these things work just like a Titman grenade. You throw it, the top pops off, and they squirt. They're pretty effective. Let's say you wanted to shoot these out, actually, instead of throwing them. These can actually slide right in here. Like I was saying, they're kind of, need two hands to do it, so. Okay, I have my JCS with the grenade on the inside. You just aim it in the direction that you want it to go into and just let it launch and then you can see the grenade pop over there it's pretty simple when you have a higher velocity obviously it would shoot a lot farther for easy and carry you can also hook a remote line up for your grenade launcher it just makes it a lot lighter so you don't have to worry about the extra weight of the co2 tank i also have a double shoulder pack so whenever I run, it's just centered on the center of my back. It's pretty easy to carry. I stole this off my golf bag.